morning happy friday i have my airpods in so i hope the sound is okay welcome to another weekend vlog um, i decided to start right now i'm headed for a run and i tried to catch because there were just snow flurries coming down like no lie chicago is effing nuts we are just a little over a week from my move so you know i'm wrapping all of the packing things up in my apartment stuff has started to be delivered i've had to have some stuff come to my old apartment but i'm just going to have to pay movers to move it because listen whatever supply chain issues was happening it ain't happening no more like my couch from article was supposed to ship early may they just sent me an email like oh your shit is ready to ship so i have it set up to ship to my apartment my new apartment but if it comes before the 25th i'm gonna have to have it come to my existing apartment it's just a lot but anyway i'd rather have it come early than have to wait like forever for it to get here so i won't complain we'll figure it out anyway going on a run i typically do two miles but i've upped it to three miles two times a week instead of two miles three times a week because i don't have the capacity to do three runs anyway okay just wanted to open the vlog and i'll take y'all along for the rest of the weekend i don't really have anything planned but y'all know me i'll figure some shit out so i'm about halfway through my run so like a mile and a half in i'm getting ready to turn around um, but I just had to get a shot of this. This is my absolute favorite. I love when the lake has no like waves and it's just still and the geese and ducks or whatever those are, are just chilling on the lake. There's the city there or downtown. It's just the most beautiful sight. Like I'm telling y'all, Chicago is like the most beautiful city in my opinion. Okay, so we're done with our run. I've actually been done for a little bit. I was doing some TikTok stuff. Um, I do need to stretch though because tomorrow is my full body workout in the gym. My weighted full body workout, so I use heavier weight. So I'm gonna do a few um, dynamic stretches. I like to do dynamic stretches after my run and do static stretches um, before my run. So I'll show y'all a few and then I gotta get home because it's almost eight o'clock and I gotta shower and get to work. Is hell. Okay, so I should be taking a shower and getting to work, but not before I tried to get a pair of these um, Joe Fresh New Balances that are about to drop. He's dropping a pair of 950s and then two, I forget the number, but I'll take either pair. I just love the colorway and I love the silhouettes. Let me try to pull them up. So I'm gonna pull up New Balance on my iPad and then I'm also going to pull it up on my laptop and I'm going to try for both pair so let me get it pulled up like i hate how much pressure it is trying to buy sneakers these days like if i have the money to spend i just want to be able to spend the money like why is it so difficult this is ridiculous anyway we're gonna do what we gotta do okay let me show y'all um the shoe so the uh drop is called conversation amongst us so this is the 550. I think that's the one that I really want. Um, but I'll also take um, the, what is it? A 20, uh, 2002, I guess that's how you say that. I don't know, but I'll take that um, as well. I just bought a Bodie t-shirt. I think I showed y'all in one of my vlogs that would pop with those. And I have um, this crochet like Ghani hat that I just bought from Essence that's on the way. These shoes, that Ghani hat, and that Bodhi tee with like some jean shorts, <sniffs> baby, I need to cop, okay? I can tell y'all right now I ain't getting these shoes. Um, On my computer, I'm number 8,400 in line. I don't know, it says 8400. I don't know if that's 84 or 8400. Anyway, it says the wait time is estimated more than an hour. I don't have an hour. On my iPad, I'm 17,941 in line how is that even possible i don't ever want shoes this bad like it is what it is this is ridiculous anyway i got about 10 minutes then i gotta get in the shop because i got stuff to do adult stuff i'm home my battery about to die damn hold on 
Okay, we're back with a fully charged battery. I don't have a lot of time. I need to get to work. I'm, today is my, what I like to call admin day. So I have like rosters from trainings that I did earlier this week that I need to um, input into like our learning management system. I need to send out invitations for trainings um, that I have next week. I have a couple like help desk tickets I need to answer for people who are having difficulty. With I got stuff that I need to do. It's not a lot of stuff, but I need to get it done so I can get it off of uh, my plate. But we're gonna open this box first and also don't mind the background this apartment is a mess i am supposed to be putting things back where i get them from when i use them so like you know life will be easy but i'm not so if you're following me on tiktok you know that um the other day i had this like crazy work day where i had fully planned on working from home you know i was gonna make a tiktok of me like just a normal work from home day and then my internet went out and i had trainings somebody texted me um i had trainings that i had to facilitate so i had to hop up run to the office it was raining it was just a mess and it was like a really annoying day and then i checked my check stub because i got i get paid on thursdays and i always look at my check stub just to make sure you know things are where they're supposed to be and i had a bonus on my paycheck for a significant well it was, it was a significant amount until it was taxed but for a good amount of money and I call my boss and I'm like, is this right? And he's like, oh yeah, like I, you know, I completely forgot to tell you, it's an appreciation bonus for all the hard work that you did on um, the new system rollout. And it was enough to put a good amount towards all of the furniture that I've been buying, put a little bit in savings for my end of the year trip. Um, I bought a TV, which I'm gonna take y'all with me to pick up later on today. Um, I bought a side table, which doesn't come until May. So I was able to get some other stuff for the apartment and I got myself a few little trinkets, which is what I'm about to show y'all now. I got myself a little bag by the brand boy. Now, if you follow me long enough, you, you may be familiar with me, um, wanting a bag from this designer. The one that's on my wish list is the wonton bag. That one is about $1,200. So that's a wish list item. Cause that's not something I can just like buy or whatever but i still want that bag i do still plan on getting that back when i'm ready to do another splurge i just splurged on my acne masubi so we're not doing another big splurge on a bag for a minute but i did see this little mini like super micro mini bag it's their um wonton bag and it's just like this little micro mini bag that i can carry when i'm dressing up um and things like that and i just thought it was super cute it's in this gray color so i wanted something that was close to white but that's not really white so it's definitely a micro mini bag if you're not a mini bag person it's probably not going to be for you this size anyway but this comes in bigger sizes they have they have one that comes um large enough to like carry on your shoulder and it looks so cute carried on your shoulder but this is going to be my going out little you know bag to carry i could fit my keys and the lip gloss in here and that's all i need because my phone is usually um in my hand anyway so it has like a magnetic closure here and it just has stuffing in it and then it does have a crossbody so i can actually wear it as a crossbody so that's super cute i love it i really wanted this bag it was 325 then it's spring and summertime so you know i gotta get my hat game right for the season so i picked up this bucket hat from ghani it's a knit bucket hat knit is super in this season um and y'all know i love a bucket and you know i just wanted to play around with the trends for a little bit so this knit hat is from ghani hopefully it fits it's in the medium large size that's the largest size that it comes in but it's a little pop of color y'all know that i don't wear a lot of color but i like to play with color when it comes to my accessories so super cute please excuse look at my leave out <laughs> don't mind that but oh my god it fits perfectly i can't see y'all oh my god oh my god i love it i love it i love it anyway i got it from ghani it was 125 um you can find it on a bunch of different sites i just got it on essence so i could just do one um transaction on one site but this is the hat it's so cute i'm in love let me put my hat back on because this is disrespectful and then the last thing that i picked up 
um, was this t-shirt from Jacquemus. Oh, it is so thick. I love me a good, thick, quality t-shirt, girl. Um, and also, I really like wearing t-shirts in spring and summer. That's sort of my, well, not sort of. That's my uniform. Y'all know that. Um, but again, I'm trying to incorporate a little more color. So this has Jacquemus in pink on the front, really small. And then on the back, it has a bunch of like Jacquemus um like logos on it and i thought that was a super cute touch it's gonna be really cute in the summer um spring and summer with like khaki shorts or jean shorts or trousers or whatever so i'll get a lot of wear out of it i got it in a small because it's a unisex top and i did i wanted it to fit you know a little um not as loose as i typically get my t-shirts and things like that i bought that Bodie t-shirt recently and i got it in a medium and it's a unisex uh, shirt and it fits a little more baggy than I actually wanted it to I like it it's fine I kept it but when I bought this when I was like okay let's get a small so we'll make sure that it fits the way we want it to fit so that's the little haul I think I got another FedEx package coming because I ordered some sheets should I go ahead and show y'all that I'll show y'all when the other sheets get here um I'll show you my whole like bedding haul but I ordered some sheets from italic and I ordered some sheets for Amazon and those sheets should get here today. So I'll show y'all my whole little bedding haul when those sheets come in. Anyway, I need to eat something and get to work. I gotta film a TikTok first, but yeah. So it's raining and my friend is sitting in the car. We're going to abort the look around mission because I just want to get the TV in the car and out of the rain. I don't have time for that. So they're gonna bring it and um, load it into the Jeep for me. So. Yeah. So this is the TV. It's ginormous. I didn't realize it was this big. I don't know what I thought 65 inches was, but that's a whole lot of fucking TV. <laughs> okay, y'all. So I am back at home. I done wrapped my hair up and everything. After we left Target, my friend and I went to FedEx, drop off a package, then we went to Nando's to get food. We were waiting on one of our other friends who owns a moving company. Um, he was in the middle of finishing up his last move, so he actually came and helped uh, me move the TV up to my apartment now, which I'm like, you know, just so you know, you're gonna have to help me move this in a week because I'm gonna hire them to move the stuff out of the apartment. So we got the TV up here and I did get um, the rest of the bedding that I ordered in, so I'll show y'all that. Let's do that. Okay, so here's the TV. We just slid it into the closet area and left like a little narrow space for me <laughs> to walk through to get to the bathroom. That's going to be interesting in the middle of the night when I'm trying to go to the bathroom. Also, we're gonna get our nails done tomorrow because yeah, it's it's time. This is two weeks, two a little bit over two weeks of growth and I got them cut down when I got them done last time. My nails grow really, really fast. So we're gonna get that done tomorrow and a pedicure because it's time for that too. Okay, let's open the new sheets and bedding that came in. Also my um, new desk, I had to have it delivered here. So that came earlier last week. So that's coming to the new place with me as well. Y'all can't see my face, but that's okay. First things first, I decided to go um, the duvet route instead of a comforter route. So I bought a duvet insert. My um, bed is a queen. So I got a queen duvet insert. I got this off of Amazon. It doesn't say the brand on here, but it had really good reviews. I'll link it um, in the description box below in case y'all are interested. But um, I grabbed that for... I don't want a price. It'll be linked in the um, description box. So that's the duvet insert. And then I bought a few different like sheets and duvet situations. So the first set um, or the first thing is the uh, linen duvet cover. So I bought this. It's a brand called Mumi on um, Amazon. And it had really, really good uh, duvets. And I wanted to go with linen because I sweat really bad in my sleep and I read that it was really breathable and it's really good for people that sweat bad in their sleep. So this is just a queen um, linen duvet and it comes with two shams um, in just the normal linen color. So I got that. And then to go with um, the linen duvet, I got um, a set of the Simple and Opulence uh, linen sheets. These are super popular on Amazon. Um, they're like $150, so they're kind of expensive, but the reviews are like damn near perfect. And these are also a, a linen. It's a little different. They also had a duvet um, 
cover but like this was a lot cheaper and it had just as good uh, reviews so they're not exactly the same but together it'll be fine so this comes with the flat sheet the fitted sheet and two pillowcases um, and again this is just like a typical linen color so they'll look fine together they're not exactly the same but it'll do so this is one bedding set and I also got a duvet and a matching sheet set from a brand called italic which is essentially like a um a brand that sells uh no name branded items so like bedding home goods clothing things like that that are manufactured by some of like our favorite um high-end brands hotels and things like that but you get it for the fraction of a price because it doesn't have a name on it so i bought some sheets for someone else from them before and i also bought the simple and opulent sheets for someone else as a gift and and so i wanted to try them myself so I grabbed um, some of these as well. So I brought this wrapping paper over here just to show y'all how cute it is. It has like little oranges on it. I thought that was so freaking cute. So I just wanted to show y'all that. Anyway, <laughs> on to the actual sheet that I purchased. So as I mentioned, I purchased um, a duvet cover in um, a full queen. So I decided to go with gray. So I have like a linen set of sheets and I have like a gray uh, set of sheets. And I think it'll transition well with the bed, the bed and the furniture in the room. So I can do either or. Um, so I got that. What the, it don't even have the price on it. Yeah, I'll link this as well. So it's just a duvet cover and I'm going to switch, like I said, between um, this and the linen one with that um, duvet insert that I showed y'all. Um, and it says made for italic, so that's the brand. And then I got the matching sheet set. So this comes with the flat sheet, the fitted sheet, and two pillowcases, I believe. And again, this is the Lux sateen um duvet and sheet set from italic it has really good reviews like it was really trending on tiktok for a little bit of time which is i think where i maybe um saw it at so i will let y'all know when i try it out what i think about both the italic sheets and the simple and opulent sheets from amazon so yeah that's my little haul for now um i bought food to eat at nando's but i also bought food to go and i'm just about hungry again so i'm probably gonna crack this and call it a night and i'll see y'all tomorrow because we gotta go get this taken care of it's a mess honey it's a mess hey y'all so it's saturday i just got in from the gym stopped at starbucks to get some coffee was going to get my nails done as i said because girl they need it bad and my toes as I said yesterday, but it was too many people in there. And um, my friend was able to score us some free tickets to see Dion Cole tonight. She really wanted to go, but the tickets were like, so there were literally like six tickets left um, in the whole thing. And it was like balcony season. We didn't want to sit that far up. So my same homeboy that helped me move my TV yesterday. What's that? something weird? What's that on the wall? Oh, that's the string from the, I thought that was a book. That's the, <laughs> the string from the ceiling fan. Anyway. The same friend that helped me move my TV in yesterday scored us two free tickets and they are really good seats to see Dion Cole tonight. And so I want to go find something cute to wear. You know, I'm that type of person. Like I'd be like, oh, I just need to, you know, I may end up wearing something that I got. I might not end up buying anything, but I always have to look when I get ready to go do something, especially like concerts, comedy shows, stuff like that. So instead of getting my nails done today, ooh, I am going to get dressed really quickly, hop on the train, head downtown and meet her. And we are going to look around for a little bit for stuff to wear um, for the comedy show tonight. And then tomorrow the nail shop opens at 11. I'll go get my nails and toes done. So we'll do that tomorrow. I need to do something to this weave because it is atrocious. Anyway, okay, so let's get ready. Let's get dressed and head downtown. So I'm just getting to the train station. I think I got like six minutes before my train gets here. I'm gonna prop my phone up and do a little OOTD. These people are gonna be like, what the fuck is this girl doing? But whatever, gotta get the content. My lips chap. Mm, I got some chapstick in my little bag. I need to take care of that. But anyway, okay. Let me find somewhere to prop my phone up. So the people got on the train, which is perfect. This is a lot less awkward. Anyway, I have on a hat per the use, my R13 hat, 
buy this hat. I wear it all the time. I want to get the um, Fear of God one that sort of looks like this too, but this hat is so versatile. I wear it, wear it with everything. So R13, I think they have some in stock right now. Shades, Free People, my leather Sandro jacket. It's layered over a jean Levi's jacket because girl, it is 47 degrees in Chicago. It is not one jacket weather. Um, this t-shirt is helmet Lang. I have on some cargos by Zara. You can't probably see them. I have some cargos on by Zara and then some New Balance uh, 327s. That's what your girl wear. Oh, and I've been wearing this like stack of bracelets that I found while packing and I think it's cute. So I have those on. Oh, I'm carrying my new boy, my new mini boy bag that y'all saw me unbox yesterday. So yeah. Okay, so I'm in Nordstrom and I wanted to buy a pair of jeans and I wanted to do a splurge on a jean. I just like to get a couple pair of splurge jeans a season. So these are acne. They're quite expensive. They're $340, but I like them. I like the cute belt detail. I was thinking of getting some A Goldie jeans with like slits on the side. They're a dupe of the uh, Margiela jean with a slip on the side, but they're like $280 and um i like them and those might be my other pair of splurge jeans but these are cute so she's gonna see if they have a 29 in my size i might be grabbing those which i did not plan on spending that much but here we are i also really like this short i want a pair of like mom shorts but i saw a top shop pair that were super cute and sort of what i'm looking for in 80 dollars as opposed to 250 but i like those i like this style I literally thought it would be empty today because it's Easter. Why? Why did I think that? I think I wanna go pink, but like light pink. So definitely not that on my feet. Even though I think I'm going to not do white this time on my toes, not because I feel bullied, because you know, the memes are saying they're tired of the white toes. I've been doing white toes since college. I'm a lot older than some of those people that are saying they're tired of it. So I'm gonna keep my white toes, but I think I wanna go like hot pink on my toes, which is the other alternative that I do. Oh, that's cute. When I am um, not wearing white toes. So maybe we'll do a pink toe, but we're definitely going to do a, a lighter pink nail. I just don't, I don't know which pink. I don't want something like bubblegum pink. I want something more like, this. That's cute. Lumber pink. <gasps> Wait. Ooh. I like this one. Soft pink. I think we're gonna do soft pink or something close to it. Alrighty, we're all done. That literally took over two hours. I hate getting my nails and toes done, but it looks cute. My hands are so ashy. Anyway, I have to get it groceries now so we're headed to trader joe's okay i am back home i'm about to wrap up the vlog i need to put up my groceries straighten up and then edit this and get it uploaded make sure that you're following me y'all know the drill make sure you're following me on my socials they're on the screen instagram um tiktok i love tiktok so much so make sure that you're following me on tiktok also y'all these this popcorn it's seasonal when i tell you all this popcorn is good i'm telling you right now i'm about to sit here and eat this entire bag oh also i'm carrying my baby because i literally have carried it almost every day since i unboxed it with y'all this is a close-up of the nails i love the pink this isn't the original color i wanted they didn't have that one so i went with this super cute but i did get the um like the hot pink i don't know that looks kind of weird um anyway i did get the hot pink on my toes now that i'm looking at my nails up close this one looks kind of weird but like i don't care enough to go have it fixed um so yeah, make sure you're following me on my socials. If you have a Trader Joe's near you, go buy this popcorn. It is so delicious. It is so good to me. Um, what else? Oh, last night. I never gave y'all a recap. Dion Cole was so friggin' funny. It was such a good time. And I didn't have time to do a um, OOTD before I left because I was running late. Because I did a TikTok and, you know, filmed some little footage for a reel. So, make sure you're following me on socials. Because if I can't get an OOTD in, in the vlog, it's probably because I took the time to make one on TikTok or something like that. So, yeah. I'm going to eat my popcorn, put up my groceries, do some moving stuff. 
then I'm gonna chill for the rest of the day because I have a, a very busy work week. My coworker is on vacation, so I'm on the hook for most of the trainings and stuff that we have. Anyway, it looks chaotic. It looks chaotic. I know because it is. Anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.